Uh, fire hole 523. It's kind of a new hook. 10. Me. I don't know. <coughs> it's a cool hook. There's not another hook that I've seen like this. I was going to say, no one else is doing it. Two or three. It's a long shank jig. jig, yeah. Oh, um, no. I, mean, I fish this. I fish this much smaller where I, I fish see. usually like a 14 on a standard size jig. Um, <laughs> um, I usually use squirrel body for this. I didn't want to bring a squirrel body with me this time. Uh, so this, the tail here down here, down here, <laughs> down her, um, it's kind of body like, so you can use it. So you, it's the, is there a color variation? In yeah, see, so this is pretty long and has a real long orange tip and then these are more like a Hair's shorter tan. He, yeah, it's like squirrel body hair. That's not near enough. Well, let's just use some of this on the top. It's not near enough. It's not near it's enough. Golfing. It's another uh, Whitlock yep. pattern. <laughs> yeah, like the original one of this is like the Dave's Red Squirrel Nymph, which is a Whitlock pattern who I would consider Dave like the warm water Guru, as far as fly know? fishing girl. Oh yeah, I've met him several times. Really He's nice guy. Cool guy. You don't have to stack it, but it makes it look a little nicer if you do. Get that nice kind of bar. Hmm. So, like Jimbo likes them. <laughs> Curve Let's down. Let's do the Jimbo version. Because you know when. When uh, stones go through the water, they're kind of that like crescent shape. Um, they're kind of moving back and forth. That's what they look like. They have that tail, yeah, like. Showing everybody but you. You have a stonefly video? The what? Spencer just texted me. <laughs> oh gosh. gosh, his ears were burning. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> What's he saying? You talking about me? Yeah, I have that shirt downstairs for him. What size is this? I'm coming next week. Thank you. I think this is a 10. That's awesome. I think. Would you tie that in an 8 too? I tie it from like an 8 to a 16. Um, just depending. So this one I tie. We have we have a weird combination of trout hatches uh, or you know bug hatches in Texas for our trout fishing. Um, we have a combination of eastern and western hatches, but a lot of eastern. So we have. We have Isonychia drakes, so like slate drakes. We have March browns. We have hexes. Um, we have gray foxes, which is like similar to a March brown. So a lot of eastern stuff. Um, these we tie to imitate mostly the March brown nymphs that are like, they're really robust in the thorax. So they're kind of built like tanks. Um, this, they don't get, they're like size 12s. They don't get this big. Mm. So this one has a bunch, not a bunch, but a few rubber legs. Takes me one and a half. We used to tie an eight leg version and we dialed it back. We convinced Jimbo that the extra two legs just weren't worth it. So now it's only six legs. Midpoint coming out the back. Just be careful and try not to nick your hook point and bust your thread. Do you know what the largest size of that hook that he makes? Four, I think, right now. Um, he's going to make a bigger version. Jeez. Maybe a two. Maybe he has a two. They haven't been out very long. No, they haven't. Out. I came out with the midges. The midge size is also. Oh, really? Time. Okay. Are you, are you in on the sneaky inner workings of what he's doing. I'm just curious what other hooks he's coming on with. Uh, he's going to do... He just told me and I already forgot. <laughs> I heard it from somebody else. I don't remember. It would be a surprise. Maybe. He did one that's kind of like the B10S. Have you tried that? Uh, I have some. I haven't fished him a whole lot, but I have tied like some lunch monies and stuff on him. And... They've done good speed. <laughs> All right, so we got our rib in. So this one, I'll tell you, not to be, not to be bashful with your dubbing. So this one's just kind of your standard 
golden stone color, I would say. It's like the standard Whitlock Fox Row color. Do you ever do any other colors? Yes, olive for Drake's. Um, black. What else? I think that's all I do. Olive, black, and this. Brown, maybe. I don't know why you would do brown. Brown stones. This is close enough. Ben Trevor, dubbing method. <laughs> You laughing at my dubbing? No, no, I'm laughing at Trevor's fly designs. <laughs> <laughs> One pack of dubbing gives them about maybe half a dozen flies. <laughs> Holy crap, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need to tie anything else on. You've got your legs, you've got your tail. <laughs> Just comb it all out. <laughs> 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 it's like, is that a leech thark No, fly. that's a cat, <laughs> that's the cat <laughs> bar special. <laughs> So I dubbed this pretty much all the way up to the bead. With that? Uh, with the abdomen okay. color. I'm pull that dude back. All right. Go through and rib it. Our idea was take that Cohen's carp dub with all the legs in it and just tie it on a hook. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Catch flies like, you can catch fish like that. That's good stuff. I mean, heck it. Most of, of my carp way. stuff is with that dubbing. Oh, ever since you were here last year, mm -hmm. I've, I've tied a lot of stuff. Had some shrimp with that sand color. Mm -hmm. You fish that. Just be a crane fly. <coughs> Take the legs off. Um, this is a hen saddle. Or, uh, wild type brown, I think is the color. I think it was made by Father Time. <laughs> right. so Sign of the bottom good. Moses. <laughs> All right, so what is this guy here? So leave you leave you a little notch. See that little notch there? Uh huh. A long time now. Just leave it to where that notch is in there, and you may catch another few fibers. It's not a big deal. So this is how, like, if you want the fibers to be a consistent length, you tie it in from the front. If you want bigger stuff going down, the smaller stuff tied in the back, and then you can get a little bit of fluff too. But I always do it this way. Just oh. as you, as you wrap them, just kind of stroke it back. Just throw that in there for good measure. <laughs> Why not? You know? do the head on my Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, this is the stuff I needed. So I put a pretty big thorax on these. What size B is that? Whatever size Whatever it's supposed to be. <laughs> so I put them all together before I came up here. So I think it's a 1 16th maybe. Mm. Or maybe a 5 32nd. I don't remember. So for this, I make a really short, thick rope. I'll show you why in a little bit. Noodle. It's not a noodle, dude. <laughs> it's a rope. <laughs> Just get right on top, like that. Hmm. Oh. Are those the nymph legs? Yep. Yeah. Same stuff I would use on like a brunch money or whatever. Cut them in half, kind of find close to your midpoint, and then you can kind of place them wherever you want them on the side like that. I throw another little tiny pinch of dubbing in just to kind of sweep them back hmm. like that. Do you ever do any lead wraps or anything? Sorry, those nah, like with the tungsten days. bead, usually like it's enough Long for what wraps. I fish. Yeah. For what you guys fish, <laughs> I yeah, I would definitely throw some lead in on some of them. And then if you want to put a little hot spot on the front, Beavis makes this like they call it a like a, it's kind of like single strand floss. It's like stomach body thread, I think is what they call it. Uh -huh. That's why after tying aniline's you have a big my red streak red. on yeah. your hand. Yeah. I have a green GSP that like, I ended up with it on my hand. I don't even use anything but white now because it just... 
Yeah. Maybe a little color. You touch your face and it's just like all over. Right. Yeah, caught just for fly tires. <laughs> do you ever do change up the color? Color? Yeah, pink. Yeah. I do pink a lot. Pink and orange usually my two mm -hmm. go tos. Uh, chartreuse on the olive one. Mm -hmm. And what was that thread you were just using? It's a. Uh, I think it's called the Viva Stomach and Body Thread. Oh, it's yeah, like right. single strand floss, I yeah. think. Um, it has a weird kind of feel to it. Um, it's, yeah, kind of, but not. And it's round. Floss. So it's round. Mm. It'll flatten out, though. Yeah, it's got a weird it's kind of feel crazy. to it. It's like <laughs> gritty. And that's it, except for it's not. That might be a good like. Is that a little Vidavu? Uh huh. Is how do you say that company? <laughs> Vidavu? I don't know. Vidavu. Vidavu. So up it's the, Ethiopian. You know the Vidavu. Kurt Gowdy State it's Park it's up in Cheyenne. Oh, huh? The Kurt Gowdy State Park outside of Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. That's where the Vidavu um, rocks and then are and stuff like that. Where you rock you can uh, oh. you can trim your legs however you want. Oh.